Hey everybody, how are you? Hope you're well. Well, the purpose of this video is basically to get a baseline or a benchmark, I guess, for autopilot future updates. Currently in a Model 3 Performance Stealth with software version 2020.40.8 with FSD. Now, basically what I'm going to do is just drive home and document all the edge cases, unusual situations, how the car on autopilot handles those situations. So when the future updates come, we've got something to... um basically contrast it against and see how the updates improve. So let's um, hit the roads. First up is the Cambridge Avenue Causeway. Now this bridge is so low to the river that if somebody peed in it upstream, it would flood pretty much instantly. Markings on the bridge itself are pretty much non-existent, but Autopilot does quite well here, surprisingly considering how narrow the bridge actually is. Now if there's a truck coming the other way, it will break significantly if he um, thinks it's gonna hit it, but I'm about 90% confident in the Autopilot in crossing this bridge safely. Next up, your standard issue, generic vanilla flavoured multi-lane roundabout. Okay, approaching the roundabout, stopping for traffic control. Obviously, 2020.40.8, it can't do roundabouts, so um, I'll obviously take over a roundabout here. Actually, it's coming to a stop, so yeah. Stopping for traffic control. So it's come to a complete stop by itself. I'll take over now for the traffic, obviously. Next up, our mid-tier selection, standard single lane roundabout on a curve. Traffic control. Okay, still pretty good there. To be expected. Next up, your standard urban suburban curve. Yep, it's a corner and it's maintained speed. Next. Look at this lane. Next is a series of two intersections, very close together, one right, one left. The trick is to stay in left-hand lane turning right, so you can be in left-hand lane turning left. A lot of people don't think ahead when they do this and go to the right-hand lane turn right. Then try and merge in at a very short distance to turn left. But make sure your autopilot is off before you indicate, otherwise it will try and change lanes for you. But due to these two intersections being so close together and idiots trying to merge at the last minute, I tend not to use autopilot until I get back onto the next main road. Coronavirus corner. Nothing unusual through this section. Just your standard stopping for traffic lights. There's no lane changes or anything else. So autopilot here is pretty much spot on so far. Jeez, look at that pollution from that, those trucks. Why is that legal? Autopilot seems to handle this lane sprint really well. I'm not sure what would happen if I wanted to go left, but um, I don't, so I am not. Yeah, because the car can straight ahead there, fine. Again, the new Brinjelli Road, nothing out, out of the ordinary here, 80 km an hour zone, divided road. So you can't override this speed being in a divided road. Stop if you traffic control, which is quite a long way away. For some reason I thought that sign was a 60 zone. Being dual, line, dual roads, I will override. This is a 60 zone for roadworks. Which it should read the signs of slow down to. Yes, it does. So stop that at 60. Traffic control. It's not asking to stop for traffic control because it's all green. Up no, there it goes. They've rolled your throttle. So guys, we've got a green. See the two red lights either side of the lane? That tends to confuse the car a lot sometimes. And also, these big intersections, it sometimes thinks there's a, um, there's a second intersection which stop for the um, other side of the road as well. Okay, the single lane semi-rural road marked at 70 kilometers per hour with a series of sharp turns on FSD 40.8. Cars braking, car will be turning. Car will be exhilarating. Car be braking and turning. Pretty happy with that. That's good. This intersection is a 90 degree with the road marks going straight ahead, even though the main road actually goes 90 degrees, so yeah. 
This one is an edge case that will be difficult, I think, for full FSD, for FSD beta. Because as it is now, autopilot doesn't like this intersection at all, it's slowing. No, doesn't do that intersection at all. Have a sharp corner. Well, okay, big heavy fan and brake there for no particular reason. I don't know what that was about. Okay, strain another strange intersection. Pulls over there. It's yep, pretty good. Single lane, one painted line, no edge line. It's doing okay on this road. Semi rural streets, no problem. Swing for traffic controls, all the car. Take over, obviously, for roundabouts. Handling semi rural, rural roads like this quite well. Okay, roadworks line. It's 40, roadworks. Okay. On single undivided roads like this, when there's a speed zone change, the car will reduce speeds and excite up to a new speed zone. Only on undivided roads though. Sixty zone, car missed it. Rural street unmarked, single lane. Cruise control obviously works. Autopilot is unavailable because there's simply no lines. Stopping with traffic control, that still works. So it's got the stop pick of traffic control thing down, down pretty well. Okay, again, semi rural roads. I know this road is marked 80 k's an hour. The car seems to think it's a 60 zone. But yeah, even with the poor line markings, the car still seems to work fine. Why? Why you do this? Ah! Yeah, fuck, it was grey! Elizabeth Drive, again, single lane undivided, 80 k's an hour. Tends to track towards the edge of the road, not the edge of where that white line would be. And it, once it picks a line, it'll go back. 60 zone, it will reduce its speed down to 60 k's an hour, automatically. Because it is not an undivided road, therefore it will reduce the speed to the posted speed limit, or what have you got set? Thereabouts. And of course, these guys are going to pull out front. Autopilot is very um, conservative when it comes to crossing traffic. Split road. Sometimes the car will go to the middle and be undecided. Today it's decided to play ball and stick to the right lane. Memory road, 80k an hour, single lane, undivided road. 40.8107, no issues on this road. It's very early for a set of lights. Sometimes it doesn't like this traffic light because it's got the two red arrows above the two green lights and it will always show the line as red unless today it's going to put me wrong like it just did. Okay, here it has a little, here it normally has a little bit of a, um, as a Second take. Uh, little dab of the brakes, but yeah, got there. Big fan of brake there for some reason. I had to override with the throttle, because there's a car directly behind me. Which is why I always drive my foot resting on the throttle. Back to 60 k's an hour now. I normally overtake here manually, because I've got to merge, I've got to navigate onto the M4. Uh, it doesn't like doing these um, lane merges. Autopilot doesn't quite like these mergers, so I usually don't do it because I've got no idea what oncoming traffic's going to do. Once on the motorway, though, back on autopilot. Navigating autopilot tends to work in this exit. 
takes it quite violently, always, always, always hits the manhole cover, but it will not take this exit at night. Don't know why. Manhole cover, every time. And it slows down a bit. bit. There we go, now we're getting autopilot off. Autopilot off. Okay, so there you have it. A collection of scenarios on, with autopilot on 2020.40.8 software with FSD in the Tesla Model 3. Every time there's a software update, I'll rerun the exact same route because it's my daily commute, and um, we'll just compare the differences through each update as we go from here into FSD beta. So once again, if you got this far, thank you for watching. Very much appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Be safe with this coronavirus world, and um, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Of course, the bolt falls down under the seat. Where else was it gonna go? What the fuck is that?